These days, when modern poetry is losing both rhyme and meter, poetry and prose are coming closer and closer together. And indeed, there has always been prose that is practically poetry that arouses the same emotions. Um, I would mention, for example, uh, the King James Version of the Bible. I think it's true as well of Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, and I have a short excerpt here that I would like to share with you. The riders of Rohan have been riding to the relief of Minas Tirith, the great city of Gondor, which is besieged by the forces of the Dark Lord, and they're just approaching the city. Then suddenly Merry felt it at last, beyond doubt, a change, wind was in his face, light was glimmering. Far, far away in the south, the clouds could be dimly seen as remote grey shapes rolling up, drifting. Morning lay beyond them. But at that same moment there was a flash as if lightning had sprung from the earth beneath the city. For a searing second it stood dazzling far off in black and white, its topmost tower like a glittering needle. And then as the darkness closed again, there came rolling over the fields a great boom. At that sound, the bent shape of the king sprang suddenly erect. Tall and proud he seemed again, and rising in his stirrups, he cried in a loud voice, more clear than any there had ever heard a mortal man achieve before. Arise, arise, riders of Theoden, fell deeds awake, fire and slaughter. Spear shall be shaken, shield shall be splintered. A sword day, a red day, ere the sun rises. Ride now, ride now, ride to Gondor. With that, he seized a great horn from Guthlaf, his banner bearer, and he blew such a blast upon it that it burst asunder. And straightway all the horns in the host were lifted up in music, and the blowing of the horns of Rohan in that hour was like a storm upon the plain and a thunder in the mountains. Ride now, ride now, ride to Gondor. Suddenly the king cried to Snowmane, and the horse sprang away. Behind him his banner blew in the wind, white horse upon a field of green, but he outpaced it. After him thundered the knights of his house, but he was ever before them. Aema rode there, the white horse-tail on his helm, floating in his speed, and the front of the first Aered roared like a breaker, foaming to the shore. But Theoden could not be overtaken. Fay he seemed, or the battle fury of his fathers, ran like new fire in his veins, and he was borne up on Snowmane like a god of old, even as Orome the Great in the Battle of the Valar when the world was young. His golden shield was uncovered, and lo, it shone like an image of the sun, and the grass flamed into green about the white feet of his steed. For morning came, morning and a wind from the sea, and darkness was removed, and the hosts of Mordor wailed, and terror took them, and they fled and died, and the hooves of wrath rode over them. Then all the host of Rohan burst into song, and they sang as they slew, for the joy of battle was on them. And the sound of their singing that was fair and terrible came even to the city. <laughs>